So now let's see how we can work around with legacy preset motion inside of Filmora. So animation preset is one thing, but legacy uh, preset motion is a bit different. So there's a different way to apply this. So once you double click and go to animation, you can see that preset motion is an option which you have. So I can just go around and expand this. And this is what I have as you can see. So if I were to click and drag this, uh, let's say, for example, clockwise location, if I were to double click here, right here, you can see that it gets applied right here. But there's no uh, point whatsoever, which I can actually drag around. So let me just reset this around. And let's say I want the effect right over here in beginning. What I need to do first is, is cut the video portion out and then apply the animation just like this. And you can see that that is how it actually looks. So if I were to play this around, you can see that the animation gets applied onto this particular clip and you can see that it plays as usual right here, just like that. So if I want to go around onto the end, use the uh, cut right here, I can go around and there's zoom out and zoom in as you can see. So I can just go around and then double click on zoom out and then that is how it actually works out. So you can see that you can go around and play this and that is how you actually zoom out or you can zoom in if you want to do this, as you can see. So I can go around and then apply zoom in over here, just like that. And then let's say, for example, I want, uh, let's say fly in and fly out or like, uh, let's say fly in and fade out right here. I can just go around and then cut these uh, portions right here and then apply that out according to what I want. And that is how you can work around with legacy preset motion so you don't have very much control but this is something you can do by cutting it out so if you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe